Good morning students. Today we will see the class on educational objectives. If you are not certain where you are going, you may be very well end up somewhere else and not even know it. Educational objectives. Educational objectives are the statements of those desired changes in the behavior as a result of specific teaching learning activities. Knowledge, ability, skill, attitude, appreciation and interest which the student develop as a result of teaching learning activities. What the students should be able to do at the end of the learning activity that they could not do beforehand. That, is, that should be our objective. It should be specific, measurable, achievable, rewarding and timely. Often we have a question, what is the difference between goals and objectives? Goals are in general terms, but objectives are specific. Goals are intangible, but objectives are measurable. Goals are of broad type, objectives of narrow. Goals are abstract, objectives are concrete. Or goals are strategic, long-range directions set by senior management, but objectives are tactical, short-range set by managers to support the accomplishment of the goals. Educational objectives depict what the student should be able to do at the end of the learning activity. As, an, as educational objectives are most focused on the learner's performance, it also called as learning objectives. The results sought by the learner at the end of the educational program, that is what the student should be able to do at the end of the learning period that they could do that they could not do beforehand. That is the definition given by J.J. Gilbert. Classification of educational objective which is divided into institutional or general objective. That means well constructed institutional objectives are the foundation of for a relevant educational program. Second is intermediate objectives, the derivatives of institutional objectives and related to the particular learning experience of the subject matter. Third one is instructional objectives, specific, precise, attainable, measurable, corresponding to specific teaching learning activity takes place in the classroom. Central objectives are written by every topic, supreme importance in any teaching learning activity. Specific objectives, derivatives of the central objective, attainment of the central objective only possible through the attainment of the specific objectives. Indirect objectives, that is the byproduct of attainment of other objectives. So, objectives are generally divided into general objective and specific objectives. Importance of stating objective. It provides a basis for curriculum planning, give direction to education, helps the teacher in planning an educational program, aids in evaluation, give a clear idea of what the outcome of education ought to be. Criteria for selection and statement of objective. It should be stated in a form of desirable change in the behavior. Desired change in the behavior should be consistent with the educational philosophy of curriculum. Desired changes in content area in a unit should make a direct contribution to attainment of overall aim of the curriculum. Attainable and practicable and socially worthwhile. Related to the needs levels of the students. Objectives in one each unit should contribute to the content development of total individual. Serve as a motivating factor for both, both student and the teacher. It should be understood and accepted by the teacher and the student. It should be developed cooperatively by the teacher and the student. Writing state, statement of objectives. It's worthwhile objective appropriate to the age and psychological abilities related to human abilities which can be developed through instructions should mention the content or subject matter through which the particular ability is to be developed in the form of student achievement should contain one ability to be developed comprehensive enough to cover the different outcomes of an educational program the bloom's taxonomy of education objective blooms and his associate develop so-called bloom's taxonomy of education objective the levels are arranged in the form of a hierarchy so that behaviors at any given level will incorporate those of the levels below three levels are the First one is cognitive, that is concerned with knowledge and intellectual abilities. Second is affective, that means attitude, values, interest and appreciation. Psychomotor domain, concerned with motor skills. 
the cognitive domain have six levels first one is the knowledge just recalling it whatever we takes the class the, and the next moment we ask they will be able to recall it second is comprehension this is the lowest level of understanding one step beyond simple understanding as evidenced by learners ability to make limited use of information in the form of translation example classifies the liver cirrhosis based on etiology verbs used are identity find justify select indicate the third one is application ability to use learned material such as principles concepts to a new real situations predict select choose demonstrate example demonstrate the correct use of pulse oximeter the third fourth one is analysis ability to break down formation information into a small components of parts which may be at elements of information relationship between elements example distinguish between physiological edema and pathological edema fifth one synthesis combine different parts to form a new whole example new solution for waste management evaluation ability to judge the value of a material for a given purpose judgment are to be based on definite criteria example compare and contrast any two definitions of education these all are the six steps in the in the first cognitive domain that means knowledge comprehension application analysis synthesis and evaluation the verbs representing the cognitive tasks knowledge sight label name reproduce define list code pronouns identify match like that it is given the verbs which present is cognitive tax these verbs we use in the specific objectives a second one is affective domain feelings attitude values interest are the components first one is receiving or attending learner is sensitive to the resistance of something and progress from simple awareness to controlled attention the first indicator is the verbal and a response verbs are ask to select etc responding concerned with active response by the learner third is valuing objectives at this level indicate acceptance and internalization of values and attitude the learner acts out this in every day of life example initiate building an interpersonal relationship with patients during clinical posting organization having internalized the value the learner will encounter situation in which more than one value is relevant ability to organize values and to arrange them in order characterization highest level which become their philosophy of their life example displays confidence while carrying the patients with them may the the verb the, the, that means the receiving responding valuing organizing and characterizing are the terms which comes in the cognitive level or not the affective level the verbs used in the affective domain for receiving ask choose describe follows gives holds locates points to relies uses for characterization acts discriminates display influences modifies pre, proposes qualifies questions revises serves solves and verifies the third one is psychomotor domain perception the perception of sensory cues that guide actions and range from awareness of stimuli into action the set by the second is set psychomotor readiness to act reacts promptly to emergency situation guided response like early skill acquisition where the skill is performed following demonstration by the teacher mechanism performance become habitual but the moments are so complex as next higher level complete overt response skill performance and involves economy of effort swiftness of action accuracy and efficiency adaptation learner can use it in a special circumstances origination highest level and concern the origination of new movement patterns suitable for the particular situation so the perception set guided response mechanism adaptation and organization below that one is given as the verbs used to for the perception are distinguish hear see smell taste touch so qualities of educational objectives it is relevant feasible and achievable measurable observable and equivocal that means it equivocal means words bearing two meaning should be avoided 
logical that means agreeable in relation to the teaching learning activities components of a behavioral objectives condition of performance example after attending the annual examination the students will be able to perform the annual examination correctly so the condition is after attending the annual examination student behavior the behavior that the teacher want the students to perform third one is performance criteria or standard it specify the level of performance that the teacher will accept as a successful attainment of the objective or describe how well the behavior is to be done in comparison with the predetermined standard advantage of writing behavioral objective include it provide opportunity for the teacher to examine what she is going to teach helps the teacher to determine whether or not he he actually taught what is intended to teach motivate the teacher consistently evaluate the student performance justify the selection of content learning experience and teaching learning methods it can be written for cognitive affective and psychomotor domain data required for formulation of education objectives are philosophical statement of the institution social and health needs of society needs of students resources available in the society entry criteria of students specification of position students held after completion of the course minimum requirement prescribed by the statutory bodies criteria fulfilled in order to write the international qualification criteria for selection of statement of objectives are it has to be stated in terms of desired change in the behavior and area of subject matter stated in the form which makes the most helpful in selecting learning experience desired change in the behavior attainable and practical both while according to the need of society it should concern the need of and ability of the student it should be serve as a motivating factor easily accepted by both teacher and the students it should be able to maintain continuity sequence and integration it should not be too detailed steps in selection of objectives are first identify the need of the learner then identify the need of society study suggestions of the expert formulate philosophy state the objectives gathered in a different way formulate theory of learning screen the objectives through philosophy and educational psychology define objectives clearly in terms of content state the educational objective in terms of behavioral